Hi, I'm Keith Krieger, Program Director for Computer Applications Training at JCCC. And today we have some tools, tips, and techniques to help you do your work with common computer applications every day. So often we're confronted with a very simple task. And in this spreadsheet, what we want to do is shade every other row. We're going to use conditional formatting. And rather than simply manually selecting rows and filling them, we're going to let Excel figure out which rows to shade. The first step I'm going to do here is select the rows that I want this shading to be applied to. And then in the center of the Home tab, we see we have a single button at the top labeled Conditional Formatting. When I click Conditional Formatting, we see we have a number of pre-built rules that will automatically format or add content to depending on the formulas or the values in the cells. What we want to do, however, is give Excel a formula to follow to shade every other row. At the bottom, we're going to click New Rule. And you'll notice we have a number of different tools that we can use to format cells. And we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. In a very basic way, we're going to tell Excel to look at every other row. So we're going to tell it to count. And if the count is divisible by two and is evenly divisible with no remainder, we're going to tell it to color that row. And the way we do that is to use a function called mod or modulus. We're going to say, OK, look at the row number divided by two. make it equal to zero. And what we're saying here, if the results of that division, that modulus, is zero, that is, there, there is no remainder left over when the row number is divided by two, format it. And when I click the Format tab, I can choose a fill color using the Fill tab. I click OK and click OK. And now I get my automatic formatting based on a row number. And the nice thing about this approach is if I had selected many more rows here, even the ones without data, Excel would have gone ahead and formatted those according to the formula. So it's much more flexible than simply highlighting, selecting, and manually filling rows based on a particular row position. We trust you found the tips and tools techniques in these videos to be helpful in something you can put to use almost immediately. We know that these are things that can be shared easily, and we encourage you to share them with your colleagues and your friends. Post them to Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn for other people to take advantage of. And if you like, we'd be happy to send you the notes of the tools and techniques that we've shown you here today. Please feel free to send us a message at the address on the screen, and we'll get those right out to you. Thanks.